Hello, my name is Sonia Ross. I'm a psychotherapist, an intuitive messenger, and an author. And this is the March 2024 reading for Life Path 2. This is the March 2024 reading for Life Path 2. Welcome to um, Choose Our Sweet and collaborative and kind and really care about what happens with other people. And they love to work together collaboratively. And so that's their preferred state. <laughs> okay. So we're going to begin to, I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a wonderful day, wherever this message finds you. And, and I'm wishing you an abundance of joy and peace. So we're going to begin. So I pulled five cards for you. First card is the King of Wands. The first card is the King of Wands. Two, are you entering March 2024 in your King of Wands energy? Very, very interesting. Okay, the second card, which is going to be an obstacle, is the Six of Pentacles. So no, the Six of Pentacles is turning up in the obstacle position. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I'm going to flip this around as a reminder. Just had a thought. Okay. Then we're going to have the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. And then we have the Hierophant. Mm. And we have the Justice card. Okay. Things are shaping up to be a very interesting month for you two. Things are shaping up to be a very interesting month for you. Hold on. Let me just get myself sorted out here. Okay. So you have some very big cards here. You have some very big cards. So you have... Two out of a five card spread, you have two major arcana. So you're going to be working with some big energies this month. Mm. And then you have the king, then you have the, the ten of pentacles. Okay, so let's begin. So the king of wands has to do with an energy of maturity, an energy of um, maturity when it comes to navigate your passions, business spiritual inspiration. So there may be a lot you're navigating to. There may be a lot you're navigating, you're moving through, and you're moving through it with a lot of mature energy, a lot of energy that is, you know, grounded in your experience and what you've learned. But it seems that there also is an opportunity, or excuse me, there also may be some spaces and places where you're not taking care of yourself. Some spaces and places where the Six of Pentacles usually has to do a charity, even though in this card, she looks like a waitress who's not getting a tip tipped correctly. So, but I will interpret this card as being in the reversed position. And so as some energies you're missing from your life. And so I think you probably are missing the energies of um, taking care of yourself and really finding balance. Like in the regular right of weight, it's a card of like someone who's being charitable and giving, but it's coming up in the reverse from permission, re reversed position for you two so it may be that you're overgiving you're giving too much externally but, but you're not giving enough to yourself you're giving too much out but you're not pouring enough of that back in and that may be why the card is coming up in the reverse position like it's okay to be charitable but charity begins from within like are you doing the necessary things to take care of yourself and that would make sense because if you're in your king of wands energy uh -oh, sorry. If you're in your King of Wands energy and you're doing a lot of big things, moving a lot of energies around, working with a lot of things, possibly with business, uh, whatever the case may be, there, there may not be an opportunity to take care of yourself. Or not that there is not an opportunity to take care of yourself, but you may be overlooking taking care of yourself. You may be putting that on the back burner so that you can achieve your goals. Because the next card that comes up is the Ten of Pentacles. So this is a great card to see in the spread. A lot of people like this card because they call it the money card. So you could be doing very well materially. Things could be manifesting for you. Things could be burgeoning for you. That word burgeoning has been coming up all, um, all the readings I've done before. I've said that word burgeoning several times. So I'm thinking that in March, just as for the collective, things are going to be growing. Let me just check something really quick. Because I have a spread I do for myself each year around my birthday. Oh, interesting. I have a spread I do for myself each year around my birthday. 
I call it my portal spread. And I've been getting the word burgeoning in the other readings I did for other people um, for the month of March, like burgeoning, 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 like things are growing, things are developing, things are going to get bigger. And then you get the 10 of pentacles, which is a very big card, you know, a money card, that things could really be um, growing for you and manifesting in a very physical and earthly way in a positive sense. And then I was like, well, that's, I was, it's really interesting. I've been saying the word burgeoning, burgeoning, burgeoning. I was like, well, let me look at what my card is for March, 2024. And it is um, the nine of cups. Another, another big card, another card of, hold on, I'm trying to make that, can you see it? Whatever, anyway, the nine of cups, another big card, another card of, you know, expansion and wish fulfillment and things like that so i'm going to say overall for everybody it seems like for the month of march there's going to be some energies of things can grow and so this is a great card for you life path too so there's going to be um could be a significant money opportunity that comes up but something that something that something desirable can grow and prosper in the month of of, of march of 2024 something that Something of yours can grow and prosper in a very big way. But in that process, though, because these are great cards. These are not bad cards at all. I don't believe there are any bad cards, but you know what I mean. But in but you have to make sure that while everything's going on, you're taking care of yourself because you have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And then we move into the Hierophant. And so, okay, so what I'm receiving as far as the Hierophant has to do with you, Life Path 2, it's like you're going to be stepping into a greater uh, greater knowledge and wisdom. So you're going to be stepping into greater knowledge and wisdom. Because the Hierophant is like the Pope in traditional tarot meanings. But for me, the Hierophant is like the spiritual teacher card. And what I just received for you is that you're going to be grading, stepping into greater spiritual knowledge and wisdom, which is awesome and exciting. I, I feel like you're doing well, Life Path 2. I feel like you're doing well. And I feel like your march is looking very, very good. You have like very good energies around you in March, 2024. And if you are not feeling that great, Life Path 2, and this does not make any sense for you and you feel like, oh my God, this is not where I am in my life at all. I want you to remember that you, Life Path 2, are part of the two collective. And if you're part of the two collective energy, energy energetically, that even though you may not feel that you're in this place now, these are energies that you that you have access to and you just have to work towards it. But for those people who are already in alignment with these energies, then things are really, really, really going to open up. And the last card we get is the Justice card. Again, the Justice card is another card of balance. It's another card of balance. So what I'm seeing right here, Life Path 2, is that there's going to be some beautiful exciting developments for you but and here's the but you have to take care of yourself you have to do your self justice you have to find balance in your life and you have to take care of yourself because you have the wisdom card and along with the just the justice card and so i would say if this is what you have going on and it could be a lot of energy because you have your king of wands energy you know, big energy, mature energy, grown up energy, um, and, and, and energy of someone who is running things. And then you have the 10 of pentacles. So this is definitely like boss energy. And then you have the higher thing. So you're definitely in some boss energy, which is awesome. But while you're in your boss energy life path to make sure that you are taking care of yourself. Because you have like, these are three boss cards. The king of wands, the 10 of pentacles, and the higher fit. These are boss cards. Like, you're doing well. So you're doing well. You're, you're, you're very grounded. You've worked hard. You've, you know, you, you're completing some things because you have a king and a 10. Both high-level cards as far as the, as the minor arcana. I've, I've reached a certain level of attainment. I've gotten where I, I've worked hard to be. And then the next level you're moving towards is the embodying greater spiritual knowledge and wisdom, which are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful things to embody. But to 
have that come up in your life, you have to, have to, have to make sure that you take care of yourself. You have to take care of yourself because it, this is an energy you're missing from your life. This energy of being good to yourself and being kind to yourself is an energy you're missing. Because you probably to, to you know, to get here and to get here, you've probably been giving a lot of a, a lot of your energy out. It's got dark for some reason. Just just please bear with me with my lighting. It'll get better in a second. You've been giving a lot of energy out to get here and here. So you're being reminded that you have to take care of yourself. Yes, you've been giving a lot out, right? Give, give, work, work, create, create, elevate, elevate, but you don't want to get run down in the process. And most likely you're, what this part, what this card is probably saying too, is that you're probably feeling run down because of all your, your success and attainment. You're probably feeling run down. You have to take care of yourself. And you're going to be step, and you have to work towards. You have the energy around you, where you can where you can step into greater spiritual wisdom, and you can do yourself justice. One of one by taking care of yourself and finding balance in your life. Okay, so spirit, what do you have to say to life path two about the King of Wands? Um, the King of Wands energy is about. About a lot of success. A lot of maturity and success you know as i said that i got really warm and uh the wands are a fire card it's a card of a lot of energy so there's a lot of energy here because you've had to create you know put out a lot of energy to get to a certain level of attainment in your life and you're finally probably starting to reap those rewards but you have to be reminded that you may have sacrificed your self-care in the process and so you may be thinking life path to wow i've created a lot and i've done a lot but what have I sacrificed in the meantime? And how can I connect with myself in a deeper way? And that's probably why the Hierophant is coming up on the Justice card. How can I, I've sacrificed a lot. I've attained a lot. I've sacrificed a lot. What, what can I do to better take care of myself? And that's why the Hierophant is coming up. And that's why the Justice card is coming up. Like I've attained so much. I've done so much. I've sacrificed so much. Okay, so I've reached this level. What is the next level for me? The next level is greater spiritual wisdom and knowledge. And I have to do that by taking care of myself, being in tune with myself, and really, really nurturing what's inside of me. So those things can grow. Yeah. Definitely, you've been in a lot of strong masculine energy for a while, too. You've been in energy of activation and accomplishment for a very, very long time. I can like feel it. Yeah, especially because you got the King of Wands and Ten of Pentacles. Great cards. Yeah, but you know, you've been a heavy activation phase and you need to find your balance. What do you have to say about this? Okay, I'm getting this message for a lot of people when I've been reading for them and what I've heard other people say is that because of all the energy that's happening on the earth right now, self-care is going to be imperative. Self-care is going to be imperative right now. So you have to take care of yourself too. You have a lot of energy. You have a lot of creative energy. You're, you're very inspired. You're very passionate. You, your masculine energy is very strong. This has nothing to do with gender. Masculine energy is the energy of activation. Feminine energy is, is the energy of not passivity, but receptivity and intuition and openness to receive. Like you've been in your, in your activation, more masculine energy for a very long time in order to accomplish things. And so now you have sacrificed, you know, your self-care, which makes sense because people do that all the time. So I'm not sure if you have some businesses or you maybe... Um, maybe somebody ha is, um, I keep on getting something about nursing. Maybe some of you are nurses, you get ready to graduate from nursing school, or, um, maybe somebody, maybe you're getting a, um, a high paying job in nursing where maybe you were, um, you got your BSN or your, maybe you had your RN and you got your BSN and then maybe you went and got your master's degree in nursing. Maybe you're like a nurse practitioner, for example. And then you're going to, um, you've gotten a really good high paying job 
as a nurse practitioner. Let's use that as an example. That's where I, I just keep on getting something about nursing. So maybe some of you, you are nurses, which would make sense that some of you are nurses because twos like to take care of people. That's their thing. They, they're teachers and they're nurses and stuff like that. And so things involving helping other people. So maybe I know you're like, where's she going with this? But this does make sense. So I keep on getting something about nursing. Maybe some of you are nurses. And you've been working very, very hard, and you may have gotten your master's degree, and you're about to, and you, you, you're, you're getting a very significant pay raise and position in your field, and you're like, you're about to make that big money. You like, like it's like the ten of pentacles is like, poof, like all your hard work has paid off, and you like, you've got it right. But the six of pentacles is saying, but you've probably run yourself down in the process. You may be feeling a little bit like a rag doll and you don't have a lot left for yourself. So spirit is saying in your level of, in your efforts to accomplish everything, you've let certain things about yourself go. And spirit is saying with the, the great transitions that we're getting ready to go through on the planet, you have to have to take care of yourself. You have to take care of your physical body. You have to take care of yourself mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. You cannot just be focused on um, financial success and attainment. You have to find your balance. What else do you want to say? Yeah. They feel like, you know, you've really worked, you worked really, really hard and you're going to achieve some, you're stepping into some financial success, a financial success that you've worked really, really hard for. Um, but you know, it's come at a cost. It hasn't been easy. There's been a tremendous amount of effort that you've put in. I can like feel it too. There's been a tremendous amount of effort. But you got there. So congratulations for your perseverance and your hard work, King of Wands. But um, you have to, now you have to do some reflection and um, bring that back to yourself now. Taking care of yourself. You feel like this hit the goddess. Greater spiritual knowledge is the next level of attainment for you. Is the next level you're moving towards. So let me say that. Greater spiritual knowledge and wisdom is the next level you're moving towards too. So, so if some of you out there are a two because you're 1122, you know, if you're an 1122, this would make a lot of sense. But twos can do it too. Um, uh, because 11s are highly intuitive and they're very spiritual. That's a very spiritual number because 11 is a master number. But not everybody is in their master number energy and that's fine. But you, you're probably a very successful two, but you may have a spiritual bent that you may just be connected to, which is going to be... It's, that is what's going to help you level up. But any two can level up. It, does, it doesn't matter if you don't have a master number. It's all about where your consciousness is. And it's all about where you want to go and where you set your mind to go. And with this King of Wands energy, clearly you can set your mind on anything and do anything you want to do. And the, what do you like to say about the Justice card spirit? It's really time to balance your energies. It's really time to balance your energies. And yeah, because remember, she has balance and she has clarity of thought. Okay. She has a sword there too. So you need to be balanced emotionally and how you take care of yourself, but you also need to be balanced in your thinking. And then they have to be balanced with each other. Okay. Everything has to be balanced. And that's another theme that's been coming up for the month of March and other readings I've done, I've done is balance. Balance is going to be really, really important for the month of March. And as we move forward on the planet in general. So it's really important to take care of yourself and ground yourself. Anything else, Spirit? Yeah. So last word from Spirit is that you've accomplished a lot. Spirit sees it. Your spiritual team knows it. The angels see it and they are applauding you. But it's really important right now to take care of yourself. because. But there's also an energy of congratulations and joy for whatever it is that you've accomplished. Business going to nursing school, graduating from nursing school, getting your master's degree, whatever it is that you did to, Spirit is very, very proud of you. Again, please take care of yourself. Is that it? Okay. Let's, let's go to the angels. Great cards, too. Great, great cards. 
great cards, great message, great energy. I feel the energy of accomplishment. I feel the energy of accomplishment. This is fantastic. It's wonderful that you've done so well. And I know this came with a tremendous amount of hard work. Because I know you probably had to be, you know, late nights, time away from family, not, you know, go, go, go in order to do this thing. But you did it. So congratulations. Oh, it's always awesome. Interesting. Please bring through a message of two. Please bring through a message of one. Five, five, two. They will aid them in this much of this. One card, please. One card from beautiful angels for life path. One card from beautiful angels for life path, please. This King of Wands energy is super strong. I'm like, someone is just in like, in their masculine energy, big time. Right? Remember, energies have nothing to do with gender. Energies have nothing to do with gender. Okay. We got the card for the angels for a moment. So, yes, huge one. Mm -hmm. All right. So, what card do we have? What message do we have from the angels for life, Pastor? Mother, Father, God. All right. What's this card? Mm. What would you like to say? The source of creation always surrounds you. It envelops you. It enfolds you. It is there to guide you. It is what is strengthening you during this time of deep, deep motivation and resiliency and activation. You've been connected to it in the more masculine forms of pursuit of goals. Now it's time to step into the softer energy of the mother, father, God energy of receiving comfort, being cared for, love, compassion, being nurtured. Mother, father, God is the energy of nurturance. And so the message for life path too is allow yourself to be nurtured during this time. Don't just accomplish, you know, don't just celebrate your accomplishments and then jump off into the next thing. Take some time to be nurtured, to allow your body to recover, to allow your nervous system to recover. Allow yourself to be nurtured and comforted. We understand that you love the spirit of cooperation and collaboration because that is who you are. Allow yourself to be nurtured in, in during this time. You're always caring for others. Allow yourself to be cared for. The word nurturing keeps on coming up. Allow yourself to be nurtured. Find the things that nurture you. And for, next, for, and for the next 30 to 60 days, do the things that nurture you. What nurtures you in your life, life path to do those. That is a way to celebrate what you've accomplished, what you've achieved, all the hard work you've put in, all the sacrifices you've made. Nurture yourself. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Receive, receive, receive. Because as a two, you're very much into giving and being there and, you know, going for others and being there for others. And you, you just slow down and receive. Slow down and receive. Connect with the mother, father, God energy, if that's a phrasing that resonates with you. Connect with the masculine and feminine principles of source. And lean into the feminine principle of receiving and comfort and allowing and just be. Okay. So let's see what the word is from Kyle Gray. Romance. Oh, that's the one. Mother, Father, God. You are connected to the power of creation at this time. Your spiritual parent is enveloping you in their incredible love and filling you with divine energy and inspiration to help you move forward. This card is a message directly from the heart of God. It is telling you, it is telling you that you are significant and precious. You are loved beyond measure and the creator power is proud of you. You are being encouraged to have faith and know that anything is possible for you. No matter what you may be going through, you are always connected to the source of creation. Your angel guide is encouraging you to remember this now. Extended message. This card is one of healing and wholeness. 
Whatever stories you may have heard about God being judgmental must be washed away. Divine, divine energy could never hold a grudge against you, for you are an extension of its love. The power and presence of the Creator is not only with you, but within you. If you've ever felt that you aren't good enough, or that you're being judged, or that you haven't been the best that you can be, know that you are forgiven. Angels are with you today to help you create a healing way between you and your divine parents. This card also brings the possibility of parental healing. If you would like to clear up difficult energies between you and your parents or ancestry, know that angels are ready to help. They are guiding you to see the world through the eyes of Mother, Father, God, and to remember that love can heal everything. So, Life Path 2, Sweet Life Path 2, um, you take care of yourself. This has been your reading for March of 2024. Your cards look beautiful. Your energy feels beautiful. I know you've been working it out. Please take care of yourself. Remember, source of all energy, source of creation, Mother, Father, God, the angels are all surrounding you and they're asking you to lean into them so that you can be supported and guided during this time and that you can receive and be nourished. So that is your reading for March of 2024 for Life Path 2. Uh, my name is Sonia Ross. I'm a psychotherapist intuitive messenger and an author if you'd like a personal reading with me please see the link in the description box and i wish you a wonderful wonderful 2024 let me know if this reading resonated with you click the like button subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment below these cards look amazing and i would really like to know what's going on in your life have you had a major accomplishment are things just like blowing up for you i'd love to hear how you're doing and how things are showing up in your life so you take care and be well. Peace.